It's an interesting article. The credentials of these two researchers, uh, uh, Cochrane and um, Harpending, are great. We have to look at it purely from an objective standpoint, not to politicalize it. Then you will be uh, heading towards a, a, a dangerous domain. As far as I am concerned, I am here just to say and prove that sounds have a tremendous amount of impact on the IQ of people or the intelligence of the people, particularly uh, sacred sounds. Whether they come from Jewish religion or Christianity or Hinduism or Buddhism, if they are sacred sounds, they are going to have an impact on on the intelligence and it changes the IQ. We can go and look at the research done by the Transcendental Meditation people. They have found that uh, IQ changes with the sacred sounds uh, used by the Transcendental Meditation people. Now, I am taking it one step further to say uh, that the sounds in different religions have uh, the same power to create intelligence. We have to stop uh, this at, uh, at this place and never take it into a political domain. You should always look at positive things in life. As I was reading this article, uh, what I found was the Ashkenazi Jews uh, displayed uh, a great deal of intelligence through their uh, elevated uh, IQ. But they also uh, have problems of brain disease. So they have both intelligence, higher intelligence on the one hand, and then they are prone to diseases on the other hand. There are ways we can remedy this through uh, the sounds, because sounds are capable of doing both uh, positive and negative things. And then the science of sounds can provide answers uh, for problems like this. That's uh, what we need to uh, study in order to help the people who are having these diseases. That's how I look upon this book.